Rob, we heard from uh, Charles there in, in Hanoi. Of course, friendships, you know, the relationship is warming up. When it comes to actual denuclearization, are we likely to see the US scaling back its ambitions as we, as we have done in the past? I don't think we'll see the U.S. scaling back its long-term ambitions. Denuclearization has to, has to be the goal. It's interesting, though, that we've heard from Donald Trump saying he's not in a hurry. Uh, that's a little bit surprising, and it may, may really ju just be for public consumption, because we know Donald Trump is always a man who's in a hurry. Uh, and he knows, too, that he's got two years before he's got to go to the American people again. Uh, and he would like a deal in place which will include, as its bedrock, denuclearization. So, if he doesn't have that within two years, there's not very much he's going to be able to go to the American people with, say, look, you know, I'm man after 60 odd years or so since, since the end of the Korean War who finally got the deal done. I said I'm the man who's, who knows how to work a deal. I've shown you. I've got it. It's not happening at the moment, though, it has to be said, despite what he, he's saying. The, as we heard from Charles, very little progress in Singapore. Uh, they still not even agreed on what denuclearization should be. Does it mean uh, only removing new, uh, North Korean nuclear missiles, or, as the, as the North Koreans want, should you, the United States nuclear umbrella for South Korea uh, be included as part of the package as well. So very little progress, really very little substantive progress. Okay, Rob Parsons, uh, thank you.